Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden Play creation tutorial video. Today doing Hall of Famer Peyton Manning, arguably the greatest quarterback in NFL history. And to be honest, I'm really surprised that I actually have yet to do this video. And I think the reason is because I was, I'm was i so used to Peyton Manning actually being in the game of Madden that I almost forgot that he's no longer really in the game on a consistent basis, unless of course he's introduced via Ultimate Team. So, really surprised that I hadn't actually created Peyton Manning yet. Great suggestion by a viewer. Forgot the name of the, of the viewer was that suggested it. But we're making him today. And listing off some of the accolades of Peyton Manning's career is really just pointless because there's so many to go through. But basically, he leads the NFL all-time in quarterbacks and passing yards in a career, uh, passing yard record for a season, most passing touchdowns in a career, um, and tied for the most wins in a career. Just an unbelievable you know, time in the NFL through basically, I think, 17 or 18 years. I think it was uh, 17 seasons. And it's funny because people compare him to um, Tom Brady all the time about you know the greatest quarterback in the league and, and the battles that they had. And uh, Peyton Manning, two-time Super Bowl champ. Tom Brady, five-time Super Bowl champ. And interestingly enough, when they compete in the AFC Championship games, Peyton Manning's actually won three out of the four times they play against each other there, which is uh, kind of crazy. So when the stage gets higher, you would think, or when the stage gets even bigger, you would think that a guy like Tom Brady would, um, you know, thrive on that. And in in times, you know, last year especially in Super Bowl, he absolutely did. But it's just interesting that that was one number that kind of stood out to me when I was comparing those guys about a year back. I remember that number. Um, but Peyton Manning is just an unbelievable talent, arguably the greatest quarterback ever. I don't know if I would put him at number one all time, but he is such a great player. He was such a great player to watch because there were times where he knew, and you could tell after the play was over, that he knew exactly what coverage the defense was in and what audible to the exact formation that he would need or the exact play that he would need to actually beat that defense. And it was really fun because you could see how... Uh, how like intense he was about it like he wanted to get the play rolling so fast because he knew that he didn't want them to change the look because he already knew what was happening uh just i never seen that before ever out of anybody um since even tom brady doesn't really uh, do that much um at least from that you know in that area i mean he's obviously does a bunch of other things but going into the equipment for peyton manning uh, obviously, I'm going to have him on the Colts team because that's the team he played with for 13 years, won a Super Bowl with, and won you know a couple MVP awards with. So with the shoot standard, I think I ended up going with, uh, I finally found the face mask. It took me a while to actually find the correct face mask that I really wanted for Peyton because he had a, uh, a little bit of a different look, and I had to take a little bit of time to find it. Uh, but in terms of other equipment, you'll see me add on white wristbands, a towel, and I believe just mid mid cut socks and uh, black black like shoes. I don't remember what um, actual uh, what they were like Under Armour, Nike, Adidas, whatever. But it looked pretty authentic if you look at it and you compare it to what Peyton Manning was actually wearing at the time of his career with the Colts. Um, and you know, ended up winning five NFL MVPs during his entire career. Pretty sure four of those MVPs were actually with um, Indianapolis. Uh, yes, only one of them actually was with uh, Denver back in 2013, the year that he ended up having an insane season with 55 touchdown passes in a single year, um, and the passing yards record, obviously, in a single year as well. Uh, but, you know, Peyton Manning, again, I'm, I'm extremely shocked that I have yet to put him in the game. And when you talk about players in Ultimate Team, if he was ever inserted back into, the, into Ultimate Team, which is very possible, um... It's not like he's actually a really you know, sought-after player because oftentimes you can get a guy that's relatively similar in a video game uh, world, a video game experience in terms of passing ability that you just can't replicate um, in a game. You know, you, I mean, you can't replicate Peyton Manning's abilities in real life in a game. It's just not going to work. So that's why he's really not as sought-after a, a player or a card um, in, in Madden as he would be you know, in real life if you wanted a quarterback. So that is a little bit unfortunate, but there's only so much I think EA and Madden in general can do to really replicate what it would be like to have a guy like Peyton Manning as a quarterback. I think it's so difficult um, to you know, just mirror. You, know, you can't really do it. It's just impossible. There's just so many factors in football and so many different things that quarterbacks do and have go through their head that uh, you know, it just it is what it is. So the faster guys in the ultimate team, the quarterbacks that are both accurate 
and have athleticism will probably always reign supreme as as long as there's the benefit of uh, being able to you know just run outside the pocket and outrun defensive players with a faster quarterback and that's just how it is as we go to the ratings right here um Peyton Manning not known for having the strongest arm in the world but being extremely accurate and uh, that's what I have him at right now medium and short throw just really high up there throwing the run decent play action I thought he was incredible in play action so I give him a high play action rating as well again completely subjective you can actually go on to previous Maddens and check out the ratings that they have for individual players like Peyton Manning and just copy it word for word number for number if you really want to do that I didn't but you can do it if you want to. Again, completely subjective. Uh, just do what you want and do what makes you feel happy. This is just how I feel about Peyton Manning and how I wanted to create him. So that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorial videos. Hopefully we'll be doing some more Madden content in the future. Can't wait for Madden 18 to come out. Feel free to leave any suggestions for future videos, by the way. Always open to them. And uh, once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.